Hey guys, it's Nobiter, and I've got another video from my Playing the Recon class series here for you guys. And in this video, I'm going to be playing some hardcore team deathmatch on No Shark Canals, and I'm going to be using the L96 bolt action sniper rifle with the PKA 3.6x sco zoom scope, is what I think it's called. And I've got my, the G18 suppressed uh, pistol as my secondary. And the gameplay you're going to be seeing is just some highlights from a round that I played on No Shark Canals. Uh, the server itself is actually, I think, a 400 uh, kill server, team, 400 kill team deathmatch server, so the round itself lasted for a while, and so these are just some highlights of that round and some short clips that I thought you guys might enjoy seeing. And the reason I'm playing hardcore is uh, one, because I, I kind of felt like doing something different. This is a, it is kind of fun to be able to get those one-shot kills with a sniper rifle at, at close ranges, and it, you know, kind of like it was in Bad Company 2. It is fun to, to play like that. And, then, you know, I I had fun in this round uh, getting a bunch of kills and, you know, playing really aggressively with a sniper rifle. And the other reason that I wanted to try this out is because in uh, in DICE's upcoming patch that they're going to release sometime later this spring, it's this big patch that has been talked about quite a lot recently. And it's going to make it so that at close ranges, I think it's within 15 meters is what the, the distance is going to be. If you hit your target with a bolt action sniper rifle in the chest, it's actually going to be a one-shot kill. So it's going to be somewhat similar to this gameplay that you're seeing in the, you know, at close ranges if you hit your target. It doesn't have to necessarily be a headshot in order to get a one-shot kill if you shoot at somebody with a bolt action sniper rifle. So I wanted to try this out uh, for those two reasons. And, you know, I had fun this round. Normally I don't wouldn't really play hardcore mode. I don't like it too much for the most part. I find that in general people tend to camp a lot more in hardcore and it kind of eliminates the opportunity for using any sort of strategy or tactics or teamwork I think to a certain extent and so so I just prefer the soft core just the normal mode more so that's what I'm usually going to be playing but again I just felt like this trying this out um, and you know it is fun to play like this uh, there really aren't any tactics that I'm going to be using at all in, in this video. It's really just me running around all over the place trying to find enemies to shoot at. And so you're going to see me die quite a bit in this game or in this video. And, uh, you know, that's just because I, I'm not really too worried about getting, we're putting together long kill streaks. I'm just trying to get some, some nice clips and uh, just trying to have some fun. So, uh, anyways, I thought I'd talk a little bit about the scope that I'm using in this video because. You know, I could have done this really with any bolt action sniper rifle. The one that I would probably say is uh, worse to use if you're trying to use this strategy is probably the M98, just because it only has six bolts in a clip. And if you're going to be playing pretty aggressively, you know, you want to have those extra bullets uh, to shoot and without having to reload. Although at the same time, the M98B does have the increased damage, so on the, or it's a it's a smaller damage drop off whereas with these weapons uh, you actually won't get those one shot kills and sort of some longer and longer ranges whereas with the M98B you, you might be able to actually get one shot kills no matter what especially on a map like No Shark Canals which is you know fairly close quarters there aren't going to be too many long range encounters on this map uh, but I would uh, I just chose the L96 for this gameplay just because I, I hadn't used it yet in one of these videos and uh, you know, it's really up to you, I guess, <laughs> which sniper rifle you want to use. But back to the scope that I'm using, uh, the PKA 3.6x zoom scope. Uh, I It's pretty similar to the ACOG in zoom, but I actually like it more than the ACOG. Uh, I'm not really sure why, I just I like the feel of it better on the sniper rifle. It fits the sniper rifle better, I don't know if really know if that makes sense. But the ACOG just kind of feels funny, I find, when I'm using it on a sniper rifle. So... If you do want to, you know, try out one of these sort of smaller zoom scopes, I would recommend using this one over the ACOG. And uh, I also like the crosshairs better when you zoom in on, a, on an enemy than when you're using the ACOG. I, I just, I like, I like the feel of it better. I don't know. It's, I guess it's partly personal preference, but uh, that's what I prefer. Another thing that I wanted to quickly mention is that if you're going to be using this aggressive play style, especially in hardcore mode, but, you know, also in, uh, in normal mode, or in softcore, I think it's, uh, or I would recommend using a an automatic secondary, so something like the G18 or the G18 suppressed, which is the pistol that I'm using in this video, just because it's going to be much more helpful if, you know, say in hardcore you miss your shot and you, you need to quickly switch to your secondary or, 
I mean, even even in uh, in softcore, if you actually hit your shot but you don't get a headshot, and you need to finish off the, your target, it's going to be a lot easier on you if your if your uh, secondary is an automatic weapon as opposed to something like the MP443 or even the Magnum, just because with those it requires you to you know be a little more precise in your aiming whereas with the automatic secondaries you can pretty much spray especially at close ranges it's just going to be a little bit easier on you so and it also balances the uh, the the fire rate of a bolt action sniper rifle well I kind of I like to uh, when I'm using a bolt action sniper rifle or I like to kind of balance out the fire rates of my weapons uh, and so I mean I know in the past I've talked about using the magnum as a secondary with the sniper rifle but in this case, I would say it's better to use an automatic secondary. Although, if you do use the Magnum, it does give you that one-shot kill in hardcore, at least, at close ranges. So, uh, there is that benefit to using the Magnum. But I would recommend, in general, using an automatic secondary uh, if you're playing hardcore or if you're playing uh, just softcore and you know, you're know you playing particularly aggressively with a bolt-action sniper rifle. So, Anyways, this video is just about finished. Uh, like I said earlier, there really isn't too much strategy to what I'm doing. I'm just running around and <laughs> pretty uh, pretty randomly, just trying to go after enemies and looking at the minimap to see where their uh, where enemies might be and trying to listen to the the gun sounds and just trying to chase people down and stuff like that. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. It kind of different from what I would normally do. I, I probably won't be posting any more hardcore gameplay unless this is something you guys liked, uh, but. Uh, otherwise, you know, expect to see me go back to just uh, softcore in the next video that I do post. And the only other thing I wanted to quickly mention about this video is I added a little bit of color correction on it. So let me know what you think about it. I tried to make it a little bit less uh, obvious and a little more subtle than the color correction video, or the color corrections that I made in that video that I posted a couple weeks ago now. Uh, so let me know what you think about that. And otherwise, the only other thing that I wanted to say in this video is that uh, let me know what kind of uh, you know kit setups or what kind of strategies you want to see me use for this series. Uh, I want to you know I want to post videos about stuff that you guys are interested in watching. So I have one other video planned already in this series, and I already have some gameplay for it. So uh, I have one more that I'm going to be posting. That's kind of what I felt like doing. But beyond that. Uh, let me know if there are any setups or any weapons or you know strategies, like I said, that you guys want to see me use and uh, give strategies for and tips for. And otherwise, thanks for watching this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed the hardcore mode gameplay, and I'll see you guys later.